Good morning, and welcome to the third podcast of the Legends of UCI broadcast. This is Brian Miraflor, and today we will be having a guest host, Jessica Chung, as she interviews a Science Library employee, Mark Wheeler. And um, we're glad you tuned in, and please stay tuned. Hello, and welcome to our show. Well, of course. Thank you for having me. So for this episode, uh, we want to explore the design of the UCI Science Library. Let's start. Um, so where is it, and what is the bit behind it? Um, well, the Science Library is the second library completed at UCI. Um, it was completed in 1994 and houses most of the books and resources for biological sciences, engineering, computer sciences, and the medical school. Um, it has books available for students to use and check out. It also offers many study lounges and convenient services for the students to utilize. But the myth behind it is the way the Science Library is constructed. Okay, so uh, could you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. If you look at the blueprints for the Science Library and compare it to the USS Enterprise, you'll notice there's a striking resemblance between the two. Yes, yeah, so I see that you brought some diagrams to prove your point. It does look very similar to the Starship Enterprise. Well, the Science Library was actually designed by James Sterling and Michael Wilford, who was told by the city of Irvine to take on a more sophisticated aspect and to avoid the boring and boxy buildings that it was used to. So what kind of designs did they end up creating? Well, they were given a budget of $30 million, and with that they decided to design a postmodern futuristic building that was modeled after the Starship Enterprise. Um, because they needed it proved by the city, they kept the design relatively subtle and structural, and the design to be hidden. So what kind of similarities do you see between the two? Well, the building is separated into a bar and drum, which can be clearly seen from the blueprint. Um, if you look at the Starship Enterprise from above, the design matches almost perfectly. It's quite unconventional and, and not many libraries are built like this, which questions the influence. Also, the library does go as far as to having a small room underneath the first floor that would mimic uh, the commander's control room, but has remained closed since the opening of the library. So why Star Trek? And uh, is the hidden room still locked today? Well, it was commonly known that uh, Sterling and Wolford were big Trekkie fans. And they looked to the design of the spaceship for much of their futuristic influences. The room has been entered before and models after a control room, but because this is just a library, not much of it is needed for it, and it just used as storage today. Interesting. So who would have known that our own library would be so similar to the Starship Enterprise? Well, it's not that crazy, but much of the influence does come from Star Trek, but now it's, it's obviously used for academic purposes. Well, we must go look at the Science Library and for a closer detail when I go visit. But thank you very much, and uh, we are out of time for today. Ah, yeah, it was definitely a pleasure. If you have any further questions, you can uh, find me at the Science Library during regular working hours. Thank you. Well, thanks again, and uh, we hope they travel safely and study hard. Thank you.